I mean, two billion people worldwide eat insects regularly as part of their diet. So it's not really strange, it's just uncommon here in the U.S. Entomophagy is technically the consumption or eating of insects, but in practice we use it to describe eating of any type of arthropod, so that could also include things like spiders. I teach a large non-majors course, Entomology 10, how you interact with insects in your everyday life, and one of those ways is that you might be eating them. In the culinary world, they say I appeal is half the meal. No, <laughs> so random. Ooh, I think I'm good right now. I'm good. I'm good, thanks. Oh, this is the mixed bug bag. I have no idea what this is. Oh yeah, it's, what is that? Crickets, jungle trails, and mixed bugs. Sure. Not bad. I'll try one. Hmm, not bad. <laughs> no idea what that is, so let's go for it. Can you tell us what you're doing? Oh, it was just crunchy. What is that? It's like a chip. It's like some like umami like in there. Like there's like a little bit of like saltiness. It doesn't really taste like anything. Uh, kind of tastes like dirt a little bit. Like I could feel the eyeball, like my teeth crunching down on the eyeball. Yes, there is definitely the, the opportunity for entomophagy to, to become more mainstream, and in part that's going to require some commercial farming of insects. Because right now we're not set up as a global population to just take, 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 take insects from the wild and use that as our only food resource. We will have to commercialize and, and start raising insects as livestock if entomophagy is going to become a major source of, of protein.